Sleep eluded Matt and Amanda. They sat on the bed, both aware of the looming dilemma. With a major client located in a different state, their options for working efficiently were limited. In addition to that problem, their son was growing up quickly, and they wanted to ensure he had stability. Amanda proposed they relocate to the state of their major client to strengthen their bonds and ensure quick communications. Matt had an opposing idea, suggesting it might be better if he took on the traveling that would have been needed instead of disrupting their son's life by uprooting him from their current home. The argument between Amanda and Matt became heated because of Matt's opposition. Understandably, this left them both feeling frustrated and upset, to the point that neither of them could settle down after the argument. As a result, they ended up sleeping separately, something that neither of them had planned or expected to happen. Amanda was feeling overwhelmed the next day and, after much thought, decided to see a friend. She shared what had happened, explained the difficult situation she found herself in, and asked for advice on how to approach it. Her friend stepped in with a great suggestion. She recommended a babysitter company that could provide a competent babysitter to watch over Josh while Amanda and Matt continued their business. After hearing all the positive experiences others had with the company, Amanda became willing to jump at the chance and enjoy an uninterrupted break from parenting. The relief she garnered at the suggestion was palpable. After the meeting with her friend, Amanda met her husband and talked about the new idea. They discussed hiring a babysitter so they could both have more free time. After weighing the pros and cons, both of them agreed that it was a great idea. They felt at ease knowing that the babysitting job would be in competent hands and their child would be well taken care of. They contacted the Babysitter for Hire company, hoping to get them started on their search. After receiving some potential leads, they began a series of interviews with candidates to find the right fit for Josh. Each interview was followed by an intense deliberation as they weighed the strengths and weaknesses of each potential sitter. In the end, all the hard work paid off as they managed to track down what seemed like the perfect match for Josh and his needs. They settled on a 19-year-old who looked especially pleasant. The main reason why they chose her was because of their belief that someone young would be better able to understand and relate to Josh in comparison to an older caretaker. Given her age and friendliness, they thought that she was undoubtedly the right fit and were confident in hiring her as Josh's new caretaker. They were very excited to meet Lenny after they hired her. She was much lovelier than expected, warm and welcoming, with a ready smile that put everyone at ease. She seemed to have an intuitive understanding of what others needed, which made her company delightful. They felt so lucky to have found such a kind person. It didn't take long for them to form a strong bond with her. More so, Josh accepted Lenny so warmly, and Matt and Amanda basked in the joy. They hadn't expected him to be so open to the new babysitter, as he was usually quite reserved with strangers. Even though the introductions were brief, Lenny already seemed to have won him over, and they could breathe a sigh of relief that the transition would go smoothly. When it came to choosing their son's caregiver, they had made the right choice. The next week, Matt and Amanda were getting ready to set up an event in a faraway state. As they prepared for their long journey, they asked Lenny to stay with Josh over the weekend. Lenny eagerly agreed and promised to be there early on Friday morning. Once she arrived, they traveled. Time wasn't always on their side, but whenever they got the chance, Amanda and Matt were relieved to be able to call home during their trip. It was great to hear Josh enjoying his stay with Lenny so much although Lenny always did the talking. Though they missed him dearly, they were glad that Josh was having such a wonderful experience while they were gone. They returned home on a Sunday afternoon, exhausted. As they walked inside and made their way to the kitchen, they were greeted by Lenny standing at the sink and cheerfully doing the dishes. Their eyes lit up as they saw her, grateful for her presence and kindness in such a mundane task. When they asked about Josh, she explained he was taking a nap and should not be disturbed, and reassured them that he wasn't missing out on anything important. She explained that his sleeping schedule had been a little more erratic lately due to stress, so the break away from reality was grateful for him. Lenny was rewarded for her hard effort. The couple thanked her kindly for performing an exceptional job 
and presented her with a deserved amount of money as a sign of appreciation. She left their house. Meanwhile, Amanda and Matt returned to their room with lighthearted feelings of accomplishment as they happily thought back on what they'd achieved that weekend. They were getting ready for bed when they suddenly remembered Josh hadn't come out of his room. A few moments later, at Amanda's suggestion, the couple wandered down the corridor and knocked on his door. When there was no answer, they became even more concerned. Cautiously, Matt tried to open the door. His heart raced as Josh opened the door, almost at the same time that he did. They could see anxiety etched onto the young boy's face. Amanda was deeply concerned for her son as much as Matt. Seeing his sleep-disturbed state, it caused her a moment of sheer panic, and she immediately took charge and asked him the question to which she already knew the answer, whether he had been experiencing a nightmare. Josh confirmed that he had been dealing with some upsetting dreams lately. Amanda embraced him and offered her utmost comfort, letting him know that nightmares weren't anything to worry about, but they could sometimes be an indication of unresolved stress or worries in our mind. She told him to come with her to the dining room. She tucked her arm into Josh's as they carefully descended the stairs. She smiled softly at him, letting the safety of the moment wash over them both. The large dining area was only two flights below, so Amanda quietly counted each step in her mind and paused periodically to allow more time for Josh if he needed it. Soon enough, there was an inviting smell and a warm light that prompted them both to take one more step until they arrived at the dining area. Matt joined them, and together they ate dinner before finally going to bed. How lovely if it ended there. But it didn't. Something about Josh changed, and they were alarmed when they noticed the sudden change. He was uncharacteristically quiet and distant. They had never seen him like this before, and the fear of not knowing the cause of his distress caused them great worry. However, within a week, Josh returned to his usual self, and they thought it ended there. Two weeks after, the couple secured another position as event planners for a wedding in another state. It had been a long journey to get to this point, but now that the hard work had paid off, they were ready to take on the challenge. They started to plan their journey. When Josh made the unusual request to go with them, they were taken aback. They hadn't faced this kind of request and weren't sure how to react. Matt promised Josh that the babysitting arrangements were all taken care of. Reminding him of Lenny, he tried to reassure Josh by explaining how kind and helpful she was. Nevertheless, Josh remained anxious and didn't seem convinced. No amount of calming conversation could help. Before Matt and Amanda were able to go away for the event, they made sure Lenny arrived. They felt safe with the knowledge that their son was in the hands of a trusted babysitter who would take care of him like her own family. She did it the last time, she could do it again. Lenny's affectionate nature provided them with the peace of mind they needed allowing them to concentrate on the event without any worries. The couple had the best of intentions when they started planning the wedding. Unfortunately, their focus on the wedding caused them to overlook more pressing matters. Matt and Amanda became so consumed with making sure everything was just right that they forgot to check on Josh. Lenny was the perfect confidant when they called late one night after they got a chance, worried about their son's well-being. Lenny assured them that Josh had gone to bed early and was sound asleep. They felt relieved after hearing her calming words and barely audible yawns in the distance as she spoke. Sunday morning was off to an unexpected start for Matt and Amanda when they returned home. Lenny was in the kitchen preparing breakfast, with Josh sitting at the table looking glum. Amanda's concern quickly grew, seeing the bruise on his arm, and she asked what had happened. But despite her inquiries, Josh stayed silent. Alarmed by his demeanor, she gently scooped him up in her arms and promised that whatever it was, it would be okay. Lenny spoke calmly, trying to defuse the situation. She downplayed the bruise and explained that Josh had merely slipped and fallen in the bathroom. She told them she had plans to apply some treatment after breakfast. After quickly assessing the situation, Amanda hurriedly collected the first aid kit and tended to the bruise. With gentle hands, she carefully examined him for any other damage before gently wrapping a bandage around the wound to protect it. Breakfast was served and Matt quickly noticed that Lenny had made eggs and toast. Deep down, he remembered that Josh hated eggs and instinctively, he started to worry whether this morning's breakfast menu was a mistake or not. He thought about it for a moment and shrugged it off as something that didn't matter enough to make a fuss over. Later that afternoon, after Lenny left, 
Josh quietly retreated to his room and stayed there until Amanda called him down for dinner. At the dinner table, everything seemed normal, but once done eating, Josh returned to his room without many conversations. Matt and Amanda started discussing their son's behavior as they cleaned up after dinner. They were worried about him. After months of Matt and Amanda's frequent engagements, Lenny was still around babysitting their child. Despite her presence, Josh continued to act oddly, leaving Matt and Amanda worried about him. Their worries only intensified when one day, on another outing, they received a call from Josh. Josh's story of what was happening was sad and difficult to hear. He told them between sobs that Lenny had been yelling at him and hitting him. She had brought her boyfriend into the house and made Josh feel unwelcome, like a burden. When they received the frantic call from Josh explaining what had been happening while they were gone, their plans changed immediately. They made the difficult decision to rush back home. Upon pushing open the living room door, they were alarmed to see Lenny yelling at Josh as she held his arm in a tight grip with a strange man laughing on the couch next to them. The man paused as soon as he saw them, unable to believe what his eyes were showing him. He slowly set down the beer in his hand and rose to his feet, never breaking eye contact. He stared at Matt and Amanda. He looked unsure of whether or not they were real. After a few moments, the man accepted their presence. It took Lenny a few seconds to realize what was happening before she released Josh. Matt and Amanda exchanged looks as they remained still, taking in the emotion of the situation that had been presented before them. With her heart pounding, Amanda ran towards her son crying out for him as she tried to reassure him that everything would be okay. In the meantime, Matt quickly phoned the police to alert them of the dangerous circumstances. Lenny kept begging for another chance while her male friend tried to run off. It was a tense moment when the police arrived, but they quickly acted to take control of the situation. The officers moved quickly and with purpose, ensuring that things stayed calm and that everyone remained safe. Lenny and her boyfriend were arrested as swiftly and efficiently as possible displaying the expertise of the officers on the scene. Even though emotions may have been running high in such a situation, it was handled with poise and care for those involved. Matt and Amanda were both deeply apologetic to Josh after finding out how Lenny had been treating him. They took a bold but admirable decision to never employ a babysitter for their son, Josh. Instead of leaving Josh with strangers when they go on their journeys, they chose to allow him to stay with his grandmother, who carried an abundance of love, care, and affection for him.